we've got some all new interesting hints at what also might be in store within Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So let's dive into it all up next. Hi there Waltoneers, I'm Jack, this is DSMI Newscast, and you know what, for today let's just get straight into it. As we all know that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be expansive, immersive and incredibly detailed. However, we're still learning all of the little secrets that this land will hold, as there is still so much left to be uncovered, from the galactic food options to the out of this world entertainment, and then the interactivity and also the storyline elements of Galaxy's Edge. But for today, we're going to be discussing four details which have been somewhat overlooked by everywhere else. As you see, as part of the Galactic Knights offerings at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Walt Disney Imagineering have been giving away these cards that, when put together, form a story map for the location of Black Spire Outpost, which is the Outer Rim location that Galaxy's Edge is meant to be. But on the other side of these collectible cards, we can see this concept art, which are actually scenes which will take place around Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge, as Imagineering have previously confirmed at press events. And we can see that this card here directly relates to the concept art that we've seen for the Battle Escape attraction, where you, the resistant fighters, undertake a rescue mission and then escape the First Order ship. And this card here also shows us a scene from the same attraction as we've seen with this concept art revealed at D23 Expo last year. Oh, and on a very quick side note, we've got these brand new images from within the Battle Escape attraction, which shows us these amazingly detailed, massive 8080s, which will be featured within that attraction, which will tower over the guests and are sure to be an incredible scene from within the attraction. But now let's get to the scenes that you'll be able to see around Galaxy's Edge. As here we can see blue milk being delivered to one of the stores within, presumably, the Merchant's Row or the Cantina section. And according to Jim Hill of the Disney Dish podcast, this elaborate story vignette is being prepped for the new lands with these scenes being a little bit like the Streetmosphere characters which were seen within Disney's Hollywood Studios to create the feel of a real Hollywood movie set. Whereas with this Blue Milk vignette scene, Disney are clearly aiming to make Black Spire Outpost feel like a real bustling outpost right out of the movies and into our world. But in this next scene, we can see the character Doc Ondar receiving an item from a guest within Galaxy's Edge. Now, we don't know exactly how this character will play into the story experience within the new land, as we're still yet to receive official details. But we do know that this scene will definitely take place within Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and you will be able to interact with this alien species, as we've seen Imagineering working on this character's head sculpts ever since early 2017. And clearly, Doc Ondor will play a big role within in the new land. However, it's this next scene which is the most interesting. As we can see a resistance member called Vi hiding from the stormtroopers atop a platform. Now after doing a quick search, this character of Vi doesn't show up anywhere as a character within the Star Wars universe. So it can be assumed that this is going to be an exclusive, in part, Galaxy's Edge only character. But the staging of this scene appears to be outside and fits perfectly with the backdrop of the Black Spire outpost petrified spires. So this could potentially be some concept art showing us our first glimpse of a First Order outside show that will take place within Galaxy's Edge. And the last one of all of these scenes is this one of Chewie with a Millennium Falcon and R2-D2 in the background. However, the deciphered text on the card says Hondo and Chewie make a deal, which is pretty cool as clearly Galaxy's Edge is going to be incorporating characters from all across the Star Wars TV shows and movies into the land. But I would guess that this scene probably has more to do with the backstory for the Millennium Falcon ride instead of a simple scene which we're going to see within Galaxy's Edge, as it's previously been rumoured that the Millennium Falcon ride will have an elaborate pre-show, so maybe Hondo and Chewie will be featured within the pre-show queue area instead. However, now let's move on to some more developmental Galaxy's Edge related news, as it seems that Imagineering are clearly working very hard to bring the Star Wars fans' dreams to life, as we've seen previously that Disney are developing various technologies that could create a real lightsaber. 
Now this doesn't necessarily mean a real lightsaber where you can go all Obi-Wan Kenobi and chop people in half, but Disney are researching ways of using head-mounted augmented reality displays to overlay the special effects and the illumination of the lightsaber onto a physical prop. Now I know that's an awful lot of tech jargon there, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with what augmented reality is, it's the blending of real-world environments with three-dimensional digital assets to enrich the overall experience of your environment. And this technology is already becoming more mainstream with Microsoft's HoloLens and Google Glass. And you can even have the power of testing out augmented reality for yourself on your iPhone with Apple's new AR-focused features within iOS 11 and also AR Kit. But where this patent gets interesting is that supposedly Disney are looking at ways of recording what you see on your head mounted AR display of your adventure and then making it available for you to purchase later on. So you can re-watch your experience time and time again and share it to various social platforms similar to how PhotoPass works at Walt Disney World. Additionally though, within this AR lightsaber experience, you'll see characters, in enriched and enhanced environments and you may even get guided on an interactive tour around Galaxy's Edge. However, at this current time, we don't know of any such experience that has been announced by Disney, so potentially this might be rolled out after the opening of the new land, as we do know that this technology isn't going to be incorporated into the Battle Escape or Millennium Falcon attractions. But now, it's over to you, the Waltoneers. I would like to know how would you like to see Disney integrate augmented reality within Disney parks? And whereabouts do you you think they could use the AR and what experience would it enhance. But of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win an official Waltoneer DSMY certified enamel pin. And congratulations to Jesse for winning the this suggestion from the previous video where we were talking all about Buzz Lightyear being installed within Toy Story Land and also the brand new Wreck-It Ralph trailer. And so that's it for today. So go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon so therefore you always get an update and if you've enjoyed today's video give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out and I've been Jack, you've been you and I'll see you real soon.